the first exercise is what a man lends 10,000 in four parts, gets 8% on 2,000. So on 2,000 rupees, he's got 8% interest. 7.5% on 4,000. Eight point five percent on fourteen hundred. What percentage must he get on remainder? So, what is the remainder? Six seven thousand four hundred, two thousand six hundred. He needs to get what percentage interest? If his average annual interest is eight point one three percent, so on the total amount. The total amount is getting 8.13%. So the question is, what is this value? On this 2600, how much interest should we get so that it will equal to 8.13%? Now, strictly speaking, this is a question of weighted average. And that is the way you should be doing this question. Okay. Which means, out of the total 10,000, 2 out of 10,000, the rate of interest is 8%. On 4 out of 10,000, the rate of interest is 7.5%. On 14, 1.4 out of 10,000, 1.4 upon or 1. 14 out of 100, the rate of interest is 8.5%. And on 26 out of 100, the rate of interest is 8 turn that the overall value is equal to 8.13. Now so this is the equation which you expect to solve. Yeah. So you got to make your life a little easier by making 20 by 100 and 40 by 100 also. Okay. Okay. So uh, and get the answer. This is a straightforward question. The question of weighted average should be done by all of you but be careful about the calculation. These are the kind of questions that we tend to make mistakes uh, and so be a little careful so that there are no errors out there. This is one way of looking at the question. But if you look at the numbers carefully and if you are comfortable with percentages or, and, and numbers, then most of the time you will be able to get the answer on the basis of or, or without the calculation part itself. Let me just explain what I mean. Okay. Let me just delete this. Okay, now when you look at the percentages, when you look at the percentages, we know that the average has to be 8.13%. Okay. Now let's look at these two. Why, where do you think the average percentage will be of these two? Closer to 7.5 or closer to 8? Obviously, it will be closer to 7.5 because this is a rate of 4000 to 2000. So, so actually, the weighted average of these will be 7.66%. So, yeah. Okay. So, why? Because these are weights of 1 is to 2. So, it has got twice the weight. So, 0.5, one third of 0.5 is 0.66. So, it will be here. Or, in other words, when I look at these three, the weighted average of these three will be less than 8%. Or, in other words, this will be more than 8.13%. X has to be greater than 8.13 percent but it cannot be the answer cannot be 7 or 8.5 percent why because this is going to be slightly lesser than 8 percent the these things combined will be lesser than 8 percent so this has to be greater than 8 percent 8.13 percent which is the average so if the average is 8.13 this will be greater than 8.13 and will definitely go up to, to some extent. Okay. Uh, just to explain this further, how much more than 8.13? Let us look at approximately what will this value be. But I think with less than 0.8, look at this one is 6000 and this is 1500. So this is about one fifth. Okay. So the cumulative average of this 7.6 and 8.5 with 6 and 1 and, and uh, 1400 
is likely to be in the region of about uh, 7.8 to 7.8, yeah, approximately 7.8 actually. So this will be definitely interlacing. This is 7.8 with a with a with a weight of uh, 7600 for weight of 2400 such that the overall is 8.13. So this is the gap of about 0.5. This should this should be greater than not 0.5 by about almost about for about double of that. So my answer will be either 9 or 9.25. It cannot be ten. Here, these are two somewhat close choices. Hence, I cannot get the answer directly. But many times you will find that if you just apply this basic understanding, you will be able to find the answer far without doing the calculation. The standard method of calculation has has to be known by you. But let me just go through the second method again. This is likely to be a little confusing. Okay. okay. Let me just go back to what I started off with. Eight percent, two thousand, it is eight percent. Next four thousand, it is turn point five percent. Next fourteen uh, hundred, it is uh, eight point five percent. Balance twenty six hundred. We need to find the interest rate. What the overall interest rate for the entire ten thousand is eight point one three percent. Now, now when I am looking at, let me look at these two only first. So for these six thousand, I am saying the average will be these are weights of one is to two, one is to two. So the gap between the two, 7.528, which is 0.5, the gap of 0.5 will be divided by three. So the average of it will be 7.5 plus 0.5 by three, which is 0.166. But 0.5 by three, so this will become 7.66. Okay. Let me look at these two now. Okay. What are these? These are these are effectively nothing but 6,000. In 1400, from a calculation perspective, I'm like, taking them as one is to four, approximately. So the gap between these two, 7.66 and 8.5, which is how much? 0.7 or 0.75 approximately. Let me say the gap is approximately 0.75. Divide this gap by five. Why? Because the weights are four to one five. So one fifth. So 7.66 plus 0.75 by five. Will be equal to 10.66 plus 1.15, 10.71, say about 10.8. This is the way I get it is 10.8. Okay. So, so, I, I, so my starting point is this. I can only calculate and say the sum of two is approximately 10.8 percent. Now, my answer required here is 8.13 percent. So, if this is 8.13, it is about 0.2. And the point four or point five more, so this should definitely be greater by point five. So this should be greater than eight point one three plus zero point five, or this should be greater than eight point six three. Most probably the answer nine percent. Definitely not this, this or this. I may not be sure about which of these two. With some practice of numbers, you say this. If you don't have practice of numbers, you could get confused, and you'll have to go to the other. Okay. But let me look at. I slightly vary a different thing also to get the answer faster. Okay. So effectively, if you have been able to reach here, if you have been able to reach here, the job will become that effectively we have. Uh, Seven thousand four hundred. I have a seven point eight percent value. Twenty six hundred has an eight percent value. Depending on the weighted average part again, okay, if you want to. But if you can practice what I just showed, you will be able to get it faster. No, you cannot do it by successive method. This is. Okay, you. This is not successive. This is uh, this is weighted average. Okay. 
Okay, why point five by three? Okay, uh, for point five by three, we will have to go to the basis of basics of allegation and weighted average, which I will avoid. Just I will tell. First thing is, just from your point of view, let me just take that again. Uh, Two thousand eight percent and four thousand seven point five percent. The gap between the two of them is point five percent. Okay. These are weights of one is to two. Or one third is at eight percent, two third is at seven point five percent. My answer will be closer to seven point five percent. Okay. If you go to the theory of allegation, you will understand that. Why? Why am I? Why will this happen? But I am just skipping that part. So your weighted average of these two will be the 0.5 plus 0.5 upon 3. Okay. Why? Why am I saying it, it out here? It is you take the opposite number out here. Okay. Need to practice it a little, but uh, if you just remember that allegation looks like the They be the the inverse ratios, and then I will look at point five by three. The same thing I could have also obtained by saying it will be eight percent minus the average has to be between seven point five and eight. So eight percent minus zero point five into two by three. Okay. So into two by three. Okay. So this is what I have done out here. Thank you.